All right, well, I've showed you guys some of the demo work on these little pumps I've done before, trying to take them apart and check them, inspect them, and fix them. And uh, this is something new. So it seems I bought, you know, this is the fifth one I've got now, or fourth, fourth one I've got. Um, went and traded in the third one that I bought, or second and third one that I bought on this one because they were both leaking. So I went and got this one. Um, and so because of how those last two were leaking straight out of the box, I wanted to check this one before I even started and ran it. Well, the reason they were leaking was because the four bolts behind here that hold the impeller or hold the pump body to the motor were not tight. And as you saw in one of the other videos, uh, two of them actually worked their way out on one of the pumps and locked it up. So I went to pull all this apart to check it myself and I can't. There's no central bolt here. So as far as I can tell, this impeller, it must be somehow pressed on there or beat on there and just wedged on there. Um, I don't know how to get it off. I pulled apart the directions and looked. The exploded diagram doesn't show anything, any little, you know, any little trick, any sort of retainer. So I think it must just be driven on there, which is, you know, a bit, of course, a bit frustrating like anything else because how in the heck would I ever fix this thing if I had to? You can't. I mean, you just have to, you run into a wall on having to treat these things, I guess, like they're disposable, um, which is a shame, really, you know, because I'd prefer to fix it versus always be scrapping out and getting a new one. Okay, so anyway, um, what I was just getting at was, I guess I'm just going to have to take it on faith. You can't have to take it on faith that those bolts are tight and that all this is going to work. So I'm going to get her slapped back together here and get it set up with oil and gas and start it up and run it. 